Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm so glad you're here with me. It just makes art so much more fun. It's, it's a blast anyway, but it's fun to have art friends. I'm gonna paint cone flowers. I took this reference photo last year, I think. It might've been two years ago. I'll link it, it's on Unsplash, so I'll link it in case you wanna use it. I'm gonna paint on a cradled wood panel eight by eight inches. I've just been in love with these lately. I put clear gesso on it the other day. Um, I've discovered the clear gesso from Liquitex dries like with a hair dryer in 20 minutes, but it does depend on the weather in your area. Okay, let's have some fun. Right, let's set the table. As I mentioned, an eight by eight inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I have links to US Art Supply and uh, some of the brushes and stuff I use in this video's description, just in case you guys are curious. I'm trying to hang up my ruler. <laughs> so one of the things I don't wanna to forget to say that I, I thought was funny is I really like the top. I thought that was really pretty and looks like an ocean. Isn't that pretty? And I, and I also like the bottom. I think that's quite pretty too. But mostly I'm just thinking light sky about a third of the way down. Uh, normally your yellows drop off as you go into the distance and this is grayer, but I just left it yellow and light. I think it'll be fine. And then went darker and bluer to the bottom just to sort of set up uh, where my cone flowers are going to sit. I'm using some of my favorite colors I use all the time. Titanium white. These are all going to be Liquitex basic. Cad yellow medium hue. I buy it in a tube. I might start, oh I did start buying it in a jar because I go through so much yellow. It takes more yellow to mix colors than it does the other ones. It doesn't, it's not a strong pigment. Uh, Thalo blue green shade. Sometimes I use thalo blue. Oh, here. So I put a little thalo blue, a little yellow to make the sky. So it's a little bit more aqua color. I think this one, I think that's straight up thalo blue. But then it goes a little greener as it goes down. But you can kind of see the difference. It's darker, so I don't know if it'll be a little, if it'll make sense on video. But this is just a little greener. I don't know if you'd notice unless you put it next to a, um, a bluer blue. And then I'm gonna use quinacridone magenta. Let's put some of that out. Okay. So where do I want, I dried this with a hair dryer. Oh, and I'm also painting, it, the front probably changed a little bit because as I paint the sides and I bring the color over onto the front, so I'm sure that it did. I'm thinking darker corner over here. I've got some brush marks but they'll get covered up, so it's not a big deal. Oh, and the other thing too, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little warmer right here because the the brown of the, the wood panel's coming through, which I don't mind at all. It's coming through a little bit right there. It's actually coming through probably most of the painting. We just don't really think about it. And I'm also painting a small one because I've got a show in June that I'm getting ready for. Um, this one has a little harder line for the grass, but basically I'm, th basically I'm thinking about a third, about a third, you know, as far as my breakup. It's not, but that's basically what I'm aiming for. Okay, so if I draw with a white charcoal pencil, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see. Do you wanna do black or should I get out some watercolor pencils? I don't know, I might try white because I just don't want it to, and I'm gonna map out some of my cone flowers. Um, as I mentioned, I have the reference photo. It's linked in this video's description. I kind of like them when they droop down more. Here, I'll show you. My reference photo, they're, um, I don't know, they're not, oh, that one's kind of drooping down more. I don't know if you can see that one. This one right there. Whereas this one's straight out. 
I feel like they're more open and older when they droop down. See, I kind of like this one because it looks like a ballerina. You, know, you could put a body and a head on it. Okay, but you can do your cone flowers however you like. <laughs> I know you guys know that, but for some reason I feel like I need to say that. Okay, so where do I want my cone flowers to go? I'm just trying to make my photo a little small, my reference a little smaller there again. Okay, a lot of times I have, I keep you in the painting. I don't know if I'm gonna bend these as much. We'll see what happens. As I say that, I think I wanna bend one up here. <laughs> I lied already. Oh, let's see. Well, that kind of shows. I think I want the white just because so when I wash it off, or in case it doesn't wash off very well because I just dried this with a hair dryer. I'm trying to get as many paintings. I think I already said that's possible done for my show. I know I said that. So there's one. I made a decision. And then maybe have a big one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up bending these in. And I'll probably put a little B in there. Okay, let's not bend this one. So I'm just drawing like a little rectangle or square. Yeah, I really wanna bend this one. Isn't that funny? Maybe I'll, um, Kind of have it doing this a little bit. So it's got a little flip going. We'll see if that makes sense. That wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's put a bigger one and we'll have it bend in. Bigger. If I say it like that, will it be bigger? Kind of like look at your reference photo for inspiration of how to how to do them. Um... Okay. Hopefully you could see some of that. I know the white is light. I'm gonna work on this some more and then I'll be back in a bit. So what have I been doing? <laughs> this is a 3 8 inch flat brush from Michaels. It's a Craft Smart brush. It probably came in a pack. It says number 10 on there. I've also got a bigger brush for some bigger petals. Uh, this is Royal and Langnickel half inch, 13 millimeter. I have a link to Royal and Langnickel down in this video's description. No pressure, just people ask me, so I let you know. Um, I love, I, I use a palette or very simil this similar palette quite a bit. It will save you on paint. You don't have to buy that many. Oh, I added Mars Black. But one, two, so Mars Black, Titanium White, Cad Yellow, that's three. Uh, this is Thalo Blue Green Shade. Sometimes I use Thalo Blue and Quinacridone Magenta. So five colors and you can paint anything you want. What else? I mixed a brown with some oranges, yellows, and quinacridone, and black. I mixed a green with yellow and thalo blue green shade, pulled it out, added some yellow and white to make a lime green. This is always fun. Add just a teeny bit of black to some cad yellow and you get an, an olive green, which is really pretty. And it helps you have some different greens. Um, I think a lot of times, like my greens are still pretty cool here, it can help you to warm them up. You might like that. I painted some brown 
centers with some lighter brown and darker brown. Then I came back with orange and yellow with some white too. So then the yellow would pop. So that's fun. So I painted white underneath and then I came back and put a, a little yellow on the top. Kind of tempted to put some magenta in the centers, but my petals are going to be shades of magenta. And you could put in the spikies. I'm I'm not really. I might down the as we go along in this painting, but let's see. Can I show you? Well, it's showing my reference photo. Yeah, you can see it here. You could put in a lot of spikies. I have a bumblebee photo where I've got a bee on a. Um, Oh shoot, a cone flower. Forgot what these are. <laughs> it's a bee bud on a cone flower. I'll link that in this video's description. I did the spikes. Okay. What else do we want to chat about? I put in some of my stems. Not every one of your flowers needs a stem, but I put them in. I mean, if I have more flowers or I might hint at flowers as I go along, um, just keep in mind you don't have to connect them all because be, they kind of can come like balloons on a string. I don't have an example to show you. I don't have any flower paintings here with me. But I put them, since there's there's six of them, well seven if you count that one, um, I put them in. I might cover them up too. We'll see how that goes. The last point is what's really pretty is I love quinacridone in white. It's a really pretty bubblegum color. And then quinacridone white and either a little yellow or a little orange makes this pretty salmon color. I'm going to be using that for the petals. Okay, and I thought I would demo some petals. My light, oh, I got Mr. Sun out. My light's coming. Let's see, we could kind of scoot him. This is a sticker. Uh, you can find it in my merch store here on YouTube. Uh, sometimes it's underneath the videos. It's not underneath the live videos as I'm... Uh, videoing this that could change down the road as you ch YouTube changes things okay so I might not worry too much I'm just gonna worry a little bit about value maybe oh I, I don't know if you can see but I've got a little oval there and a little over oval there and I might put a third B in but those are gonna be B's okay let's grab a little white a little of our bubblegum pink and so what's nice about doing the centers is then you can stick the petals. Oh, that's pretty. I might just leave that to the um, center. Can't paint and talk at the same time. <laughs> and now I'm thinking I might want, for some reason, I'm going to add one in there. And we can come back and adjust the color. Let's see. So you can put it down at an angle. You can put it down, you know, straight. So it's gonna, like you would draw a skinny line with it. And then as you come down, push. And it didn't really do it because it's not a very big brush. I'm gonna paint it. You can paint a round petal. Okay, I really like that one. Let's see. I don't know if I still need white. The other thing that I will do is we come around, I may glaze some darker color on top, which is really nice because the quinacridone is semi-transparent. So you just use some thin quinac quinacridone and paint it over the top once your petal is dry. Okay, let's put, I'm kind of thinking maybe I want a little darker. Let's go the other direction. Use a bigger palette. I just do this so you guys can see it. And actually, I can put another styrofoam plate on top and stick it in a gallon baggie. You know, mist it with water. I have a little eyeglass cleaner. It, it just has water in it. It's a little, it was an eyeglass cleaner bottle. It makes kind of a terrarium. And you stick it in a, a gallon baggie. Okay. I'm chatty. Oops, I got water on my painting. <laughs> I've got close quarters here. Okay. Let's see. Let's stick it. Just kind of twist it and see if that does anything fun. Stick and twist. That one 
getting fatter. So I changed the direction. Now I think I want to go lighter again. Like, like the sun's catching it. And if it, I don't get the values right or the pedals just right, um, I can come back and adjust them or reinforce the color on them. So hopefully that helps. So you can see here that I've given myself a guide. Can you see that? I'm going to see if I can see the top of my phone. Yeah, you can a little bit. I've got white charcoal pencil. And this one's pretty flat. So that means this pedal is going to be pretty short. And they're going to be longer as you go out to the side. Hopefully you can see that where these are going down. OK, guys, I'm going to paint some petal or more petals, and I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm done for today. I'm gonna let this dry here. I probably can, I don't know, can you see? So I have some chalk pastel right here. If you take a little water, you can wash it right off. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But just so I don't forget to show you. I ended up using this brush. I, this brush for all everything, I didn't use this brush. Because you can paint a second stroke, you can make them fatter. Like this one's two strokes. I mix uh, red violet, so a little bit of blue, a lot of quinacridone to even get some darker colors. I put in some simple flowers off in the distance. I think I'm ready for leaves and weeds. I can always add some more flowers. Um, just fun, I don't know, colors we can put in. Here, I did this. Let's see if you can see this. I did this painting, gosh, at least a year or more ago. I'll link it in this video's description. It has darker, it was a much larger painting, and I really focused on smoother grass and things. But like, I like the whole point of that is like, there's little blue bits in there, which are pretty, and they don't really do much. So I might do some of that. There's little yellows off in the distance. We'll play with it, see where it goes. Oh, and the, the main point is I've been working on this all afternoon and I was going to pay attention to when I started, what time it was, and I didn't. But it's 4.40 now, so I'm thinking four hours. That does include painting and drawing this background, which would take a little while, but not a ton of time. So I think that's helpful. I mean, I was pretty deliberate with the petals. They might still need a little more playing with them. I came back and add like a little lighter stroke on some of them. So a little lighter stroke on that one, you know. But it's also kind of nice just to kind of have a, a light blob and then a darker blob. You don't have to define every petal. And then I didn't connect these because they might I, they might not need stems. They might just get they might they're going to have grasses coming over them and things. Um, which you've, if you've been with me for a little bit, you've seen me do this kind of painting before, or a similar painting. Or they may need stems, we'll figure it out. And I realized I didn't put on the, this bud opening, I didn't put on the, the green part. <laughs> okay, so I will be back tomorrow.
I thought I'd pop in because it's been a little bit. I am just adding, I'm using the uh, half inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. It's their Zen line. And then I am putting in weeds. I've done this style of painting a couple times. I'll link some of those videos in this description. So I'm weaving in different colored grasses, put in some blues. I wonder if I want to maybe put in some purples. I kind of want to put in some yellows, but then the yellow, I also want these to kind of pop forward. And the, the bees, I'm going to put in a couple of bees. So maybe I don't, I'm just reinforcing the yellows as I'm listening to what I just said to you guys. <laughs> What's nice is the yellow is semi-transparent. I don't think I want yellow. I could put some oranges in, but I also don't want those to fight. Maybe oranges would be okay, like straight up orange. Put in just some more things um, to fill it up. I don't mind. As I'm on top of it, I don't like that the background's warmer than the foreground. Brighter, kind of brighter, if that makes sense. But when I get back from it, I don't mind it. You guys can let me know in the comments. Maybe I just need some more blue. Maybe I need to put in the bees and stop. When I'm asking a lot of questions, that also can mean it might be time to stop. Oh, white, maybe just white. Oops, that was not white at all. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you guys? So lots of things happen. Like that's, a, you could call that a mistake or a problem. Uh, when you're painting, but you can correct them, wash them off, paint over them. Maybe white. I need to put out some more white. Oh, I kind of like that. Let's see. So all I'm thinking is like, don't lie. I, I have a tendency to want to line them up and then it's hard. This might be a little big to be videoing on my art table because I need to lean my head to the left to get around the phone so I can see. I should maybe do this. I've got a tabletop easel. I'm still learning about videoing what works best. Uh, the light, you guys who send money to support the channel. Um, this is fairly new. So I have a light that's helping. I got that like a month or two ago. Thank you so much. I'm really excited about that. I think that's improving the videos. I think it might be time. Like I could put one up here, but I don't know that it's really going to even show because it's on the sky. It kind of shows. I put one there. I think it's just time to put in the bees and see what I think. So I've got a little oval there, a little over oval there. I'm just gonna paint them uh, white to cover the background. Let's see, how am I gonna do them? I think I'm gonna do them simple because they're little like pill size bees. I'm trying to remember how I do them. So white, well actually I actually don't need to do that. I just need white for the yellow and then I'll have black. That's what I'll do. So just a yellow, yellow body and then um, here I'll show you that that might make, make more sense if I show you thank you guys for your kind comments it just means the world to me there's a lot of the internet will internet I heard another youtuber say um, there's just a lot of negativity out there I just love our happy channel happy art friends so that'll be yellow. I could even use the green as a little shadow. I don't know if we'll be able to see that one up there on top of the blue. Oops, I got a little blue in my brush from somewhere. Let's see, are we in frame? Well, that shows. you get a sense again of how I don't paint terribly fast I don't I, 
you too. Some people paint fast. That's great. Um, YouTube and the time lapse and a lot of the videos don't um, really show how an artist who's playing with a painting and getting into it. I think many of them are slower, but I don't know that as a fact. I have fact. I don't know them. I haven't been in their studios. But I look at some of their classes, and the paintings are better than the one to two hour paintings they do live. So I'm kind of thinking about the shadow there. I'm kind of trying to scrub off some of the white. Okay guys, I'm gonna work on the bees and I'll be back in a bit. I thought I would demo, so I haven't been using it as much lately, but mixing white can be great for clouds, transparent bee wings. Um, you can also use titanium white and thin it with some water. It work, It totally works, but you might like it. Just something to think about. Um, it might be called zinc white in other brands. I'm just looking at it. See, it says the box is completely open. So I'm gonna take my number one round just because I don't, well, I could, I could do this. Maybe I'll do this. This is a quarter inch flat brush. I'm gonna get it wet. So that you've, you'll notice, here, I'm gonna turn the palette. You'll notice that the white, this mixing white feels different from the titanium white. I'm gonna push that down. And I'm just gonna thin it, smooth it, I have a little, I'm using, I have two water, one clean, one dirty. Um, some people just use one water. Okay, so I keep kind of shoving it up into the, there, into the whole brush. <laughs> Oops, I've got a little, well that's just a fleck of something. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it, so I'm gonna do this bee, and I'm gonna attach a wing. I'm just gonna put the point down if I can quite kind of on the back and then pull up and we'll see what we get. So I'm going to set the point down but I'm also going to push down. Does that make sense? You can practice it on a piece of paper. Now that's quite transparent and it's going to dry even lighter. I might have to do it again and then if you wanted you don't really need another wing but I could indicate one. Just kind of dab I think that's going to need another coat. You might like the you might like the mixing white better, but it's a way to sneak up on it. Like in my cloud video, um, I talk about sneaking up on the white whites because you can only go so white. So I can sneak up on that brightest value. I don't think this is going to show. I think I'm going to want. I think I'm going to want mixing white just because. My sky is so light. Yeah, those wings are drying and darker. Well, that might be fine. You might like that. We might be okay. Let's have it go this way. Oops, sorry, I just bumped my... So I'm so close to my phone that my brush hit my microphone cord. I don't know if you can picture that. So let's, I might have had too much water in my mixing white. Let's kind of just see if we can, my in frame. There. And really, I don't like the direction I did that one in. It's barely even showing. I'm just looking for a smaller brush that's clean. Let me erase it. Got a little bit of time. All right, so 
here I was gonna demo mixing white and it's not really working for me. It's just like some days this brush works for me and some days it doesn't. I really don't think it's the paint or the brush, it's me. <laughs> it's me. But if switching helps your mindset or whatever, it's like switching golf clubs. I used to golf. Go for it, there's nothing wrong with it. I think that works. I think I should leave it alone. This isn't going to show. What I could do is put a little blue underneath it, or sometimes I put brown underneath it. And then it shows up better, but I don't know that I need it to. It's just transparent wings. And I have just one leg. Um, maybe jelly bean bees is better than pill bees. It's a little cuter, cuter name. You guys, in the comments, if you want, put in there what we should call those little, little small round bees I put in some of my paintings. Um, I'm leaning towards the jelly bean bees right now. Okay, let's take a, a quick tour here, up close. Sorry guys, I'm trying to, I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> so I can see the top of my phone. I laugh just because it's just, I, I assume it looks funny if you could see me. I like the blue in there, it's pretty. I pulled quite a few of the stems over and then just painted a little, I don't think get that here, maybe this way, on the side. There's really nothing other than that pretty swirl on the top. Here's the other side. Let's see, I don't think I need to bring it up much for a screenshot. It, it pretty much just fits. Oh, I could bring it up a little. Okay, I hope there are a few helpful tips in this video. I really like how pretty my palette is. I'm going to paint a smaller one just to have on hand to sell and, and for myself. It has a little darker background, so then um, I'll paint probably lighter grasses on top of it. Where here I painted quite a few darker ones. Super appreciate your friendship. It's been so fun for me here on YouTube. Your support means the world to me. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.